confused how to do some basic chroma key in three different programs, HitFilm Express, Camtasia, and OpenShot. We're going to start with HitFilm for Express because I like this one the most. So I've already got some artwork that I found on openclipart.org, and I recorded myself in front of a green screen. We're going to throw all these together. We are going to start with our background and set this up. Just like this doesn't look really good, we've got some little things peeking out on the sides, but let's make this better. So let's make this fit to height. Oh, that's horrible. Sometimes the background's not going to line up. We're just going to stretch this to fit. There we go. That's good enough. I'm not really worried about the scale because it's really just trees and greenery. You might need to worry about the scale for yours, though. And I'm going to include a dinosaur because in my recording I'm freaking out, so I might as well have something to freak out about. And I can resize him too if I want, but I kind of like that he's filling the frame all the way. So I'm just going to leave it like that, to be honest. I could move him around if I really wanted to. But let's just, let's just leave him right here. That's good. Okay, next I'm going to add myself in my green screen recording. And I admit I've already trimmed this up a little bit, but now you see me freaking out. And, oh, I should mention, I made this whole interface look like this by clicking on this little grid up here. You can change your workspace setup. So this is how it normally looks in HitFilm for Express when you first open it up. But... I went for classic mode and I'm enjoying that more. Right. Now, this isn't quite done yet because I need to add my green screen key. So in effects, I typed in the word key. There's green screen. Drag this right on top of my green screen recording. And I shouldn't really need to modify it too much. That doesn't look too bad. I'm a little blurry, but that's probably more from me moving so quickly. Now, last thing. I don't want to just be in the foreground. I want to look like I'm more immersed in the shot. So I found some grass on openclipart.org as well. I'm going to have this added in, in the front. So now, it looks more like I'm going through the jungle and, oh, by the way, there's a giant dinosaur behind me. There's more trimming up I could do, make all these clips the same size, add some sound effects. But that's the basics in HitFilm 4 Express. Let's move on to the next program. Next up, let's use Camtasia Studio. Now, this is Camtasia Studio 8. It's what I have installed in my lab for my students. I think 9 is out now. now it's important to start off with your video clip because that's going to have the right aspect ratio. And I know that's going to be further in. So let's have that be on track 3. I'm going to drag in my background onto track one. And you'll notice how it's outlining it here. We know that's the wrong size. So I'm just going to stretch this out so that it sticks out on the edges a little bit. I'm going to drag my dinosaur in for track two. And if we make track three invisible, dinosaur is really tiny. Let's make him larger. And shove him in there track visible again. Throw the grass in on top. Drag this down. It's all pretty easy so far. And now for the chroma key. Now for chroma key in Camtasia, what we do is we click on the track we want to chroma key. And we go to visual properties. If you don't see visual properties, click on more and it'll be in there. It just can't show you all these at once depending on your screen size. So in visual properties, there's an option that says remove a color. If you check that, you'll get a little paint bucket. And you can click on that paint bucket, pick select a color, and then click on the color you want to remove. So now if I hit play, it mostly works. Now as you can see, there's a little bit of a green haze that appears from shadows on the green screen because I didn't quite light myself properly so there were some shadows so the greens aren't all even. I can manipulate the tolerance level to get rid of some of that. I can adjust softness hue to fringe. You can play with all of these effects to try to get it just right so you're removing the green without removing everything else. 
that might take a little bit of practice, might take a little bit of tweaking to get it perfect, but it works. And this works with any color, unlike the hit film preset, which is just for green or just for blue. All right, let's move to our third and final program. And here's how you do the same chroma key features in OpenShot. Uh, short story, you don't. It'd be nice if you could, but here's what happens. If you go to the Effects tab and you drag the chroma key option over onto your recorded video with the green background, in theory, it should work, right? Well, by default, it chroma keys out black. That doesn't work very well. If you have the property window open on the side and you click on the little bubble that appears when you drag that over, you have black as your key color. You can double click on this and select a new color. You can just click on the color you want. If you see it in here or pick screen color and go and click on the color you want this way. But what happens is this bugs if you do it this way so that it ends up being gray. If you pick a solid color and click OK, it still doesn't edit it out properly. If you change the fuzziness, it only changes it for part of it. Chroma key right now is a bit buggy. It works if you have a pre-generated image that has a solid color background. But any little variations, any shadows, any dents, any wrinkles, any uneven lighting is going to make this not work. So right now, if you're chroma keying something that was recorded with live action, your best bets are HitFilm 4 Express and Camtasia. I'd pick HitFilm 4 Express personally. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to ask.